what the fuck is up it's coach Kyle I wanted to make this video to show you guys my journey my struggle with hair loss and how I was able to overcome all of that pretty much the thickest density of hair I've had since I was 17 <laughs> so it's at a point right now where I'm six months post surgery on my second hair transplant and I want to make this video for you guys to show you my journey my struggle with hair loss and how I was able to overcome all of that it's all going down right here stay tuned so the last 10 years or so ever since I was about 20 years old I started to notice the beginning of my hairline was starting to recede at a pretty young age pretty much all throughout my 20s I was extremely insecure with my hair and I think I'm at a point right now where this is the thickest my hair has ever been ever like I don't think I've ever had my hair this long not that it's super dense but it was extremely thin for a long time I'll throw a couple pics up on the screen you guys could see my hair when I was about 24 25 when I really started to notice that the hair loss was getting bad I took no medication no supplements no remedies to fight my hair loss up until that point I had just been slowly losing my hair and honestly I didn't even realize that it was getting worse and worse and worse until I finally reached a point where I could literally see my scalp if I was just looking at my hair in the mirror and that's when I just really started to panic and that was when I came across a, a remedy that was called the PRP hair injection so essentially what they do is they take your blood they make a plasma out of your own blood and they inject it into your hair by injecting that PRP plasma into your scalp it boosts the stem cell production and new hair is created in the scalp. So I'll put up on the screen right now a pic. You could see how my hair looked before I had any injections done to my scalp. You could see my the top of my scalp was noticeably visible. And then the next pic I'll post is the six month result. And you could see that there was significant hair growth throughout the top, middle, and even in the front of my scalp. So at that point that I noticed that the hair was starting to thin again, I came across a medication that my doctor initially recommended called finasteride. And I was hesitant about taking this medication because of the known side effects of the drug. However, as the hair loss continued, it was getting to a point where I was really starting to consider taking the drug because I thought worst case scenario, I could always get off of the drug if I started to experience side effects. So I then began taking the minoxidil and the finasteride medications. One's a pill, the other one's a topical foam that you would put on your hair. And again, although that this medication was good and it was aiding in stopping the hair loss, it was not reversing the pattern and I was not able to get back any of the hair that I had previously lost, which is when I began to start considering getting a hair transplant. Oh, right now. Very cool. Yeah. Look at that face. <laughs> Look at it. Oh my goodness! <laughs> so after talking with the scalp expert, I came to the conclusion that it was time to get a hair transplant. And just to give you guys an idea of what goes on during a hair transplant, they put you to sleep, they take the hair from the back of your head and essentially they just move it and replant it into your head in the area that you're lacking in. So I got the first procedure done and six to nine months later I, I achieved a certain level of density that I was happy with. For the first time since I was 18, 19 years old, I was somewhat comfortable with my hair. I couldn't put my hair up, but with my hair down, I had pretty much full coverage. The only times that I was insecure about my hair is if it started raining or if I were to go into a swimming pool, I was still a little insecure about my hair loss because once my hair was wet, you could still see my scalp. And because of that, I decided the following year in 2019, I wanted to go in to get a second transplant. So I'm gonna put up another pic of me, December 2019, I went back in for my second transplant. And right here on this pic, you can see me right before the procedure where there is still significant thinning in the front. So although the second transplant is done and my hair has never been this thick ever since I was about 17, 18 years old, there's bad news, which is the hair loss battle is a lifelong process, okay? I will be fighting my hair loss for the next 20 years probably, unless science comes out with a, a full cure. The truth of the matter is, I've only had hair transplanted to the front of my head, so that hair will be there for the next 30, 40, 50 years. However, the back of my head is still prone to hair loss, meaning over the next year or so, I anticipate that the back of my scalp is going to continue to thin. And I'll even put a picture on the screen right now. You can see that although the front is very dense, you can already start to see that the back of the scalp is becoming visible. And because of this, unfortunately, that means I'm going to need to get another transplant to cover up the hair in the back of my head. 
So the good news is, if you are struggling with hair loss, modern day science has gotten to a point where you can prevent further hair loss. However, the bad news is, the hair loss struggle is a lifelong journey that I have been fighting for almost 10 years at this point, and I will continue to fight that battle for the next 10 years, 20 years, until the unforeseeable future. So that was my journey with fighting male pattern baldness, my struggles that I've had. Just to show you guys at this point, I'm 30 years old currently, and my hair has never been this thick before. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this was educational. I hope you enjoyed this. Stay tuned. I may document my next procedure or I may give you guys an update in another six months or so on my hair loss journey. Let me know in the comments below, was this educational? Was it helpful for you? If you have any questions, write it down below. And until next time, Coach Kyle, signing out.